Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on Microsoft Excel. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at name range, rank, where we'll be looking at ascending order and descending order. Let's go. Here is the file we are going to be using for this tutorial. This is still one of the files we created in our previous tutorial on Microsoft Excel. Check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link so that you can have access to our previous tutorials. Now we are going to start with name range. As the name implies, we are creating a name for a range of cells. And then we have three ways of doing this. We're going to be taking us through the three ways. So the first way now is we want to make use of the column name of student to create our name range. So we highlight from the first name to the last name. Then you go to the name box. This is the name box here and it is showing us B2. You just click on it, remove the B2 and type names, then hit enter. So we have created the name range for it. If you click on the arrow next to that name range, you see the name there. And immediately you click on the name, what happened? It automatically highlights the range of cells. That is one way. The other way is we select this course for English language. Then you now right click. When you right click, you see define name. So you click on define name, it has already automatically suggested a name for that range of cells. And uh, this scope now is telling you that is it going to be within this workbook or you want it only on sheet one, sheet two, up till sheet five. So we have it on the entire workbook, then we select OK. So that name range has also been registered here. So if you click on English now, it automatically highlights the scores of English. So that is for that one. We've given us the two ways of creating name range. Then the third one, we're going to make use of the scores of student in mathematics. You highlight. After highlighting, you go to formulas. On the formula tab, you look for name manager here is the name manager you click on name manager so it's asking us to create a new one and you can see now that the ones we have created are already there so you click on new one so it automatically gives us or suggested a name for us if you wish to change the name you can just delete and then type the new name but we are not changing the name, so we we'll just leave it as mathematics. Then we we'll now select OK. Then from here now, you have the option of editing name range. You have the option of deleting name range. Let's go to names and we try to edit it. You click on edit. If you want to change the name now, you can now change the name. So we are not changing the name. We just select OK and it takes us back here. And if you wish to delete, you can always delete. For instance, um, let us try to delete the names. We select delete. A dialog box pops up to confirm. Are you sure you want to delete the name names? If you are sure, you select OK. If you are not sure, you just cancel. So we cancel. So we close that. And then if you are in any other sheet, for instance, because we have many sheets here. This is the sheet. If you now select here now, you have all the names you have in your name range memory. If you click English now, it takes you to where the sheet containing English. So click English, it takes us to the sheet containing English. So anywhere you are, you select the name range. Let's take mathematics now. It takes us to the sheet containing mathematics. And that's all for name range. And uh, when we get to rank, we will now show you how you can use name range in a formula. We now look at rank. Um, a rank 
is the function that is used to either give the range of cells containing numbers either in ascending order or descending order. If you look at this now, if you press equal to rank, if you can see now it says rank returns the rank of a number in the list of numbers, its size relative to other values in the list. If more than one value has the same rank, the average rank is returned. So the syntax for rank is number, ref, and order. Number means the particular number you want to rank, while the ref means the list of cells containing other numbers to be considered in the ranking, while the order means the ascending order or descending order. First, we want to look at the position. We are creating a new column and call it position. And you know, position is going to be done from the highest to the lowest, that is in descending order, which means the highest person is assigned first position. The lowest person is assigned the last position in the list. So we now select equal to rank, open bracket, then it's telling us we should select the number. Which number do we want to rank? Basically, we are starting with the first number. We just select that first average. We click on the average, comma, then the range of cells, which is the ref. The ref means the range of cells. So the range of cells now is going to be from H2 to H12. That is from the first average of the average of the first students to the last average of the average of the last student in the list. So we now press comma. For your information, zero means descending order, one means ascending order. Since we are looking for position, so our rank is going to be zero, which is descending order. Then we close the bracket and hit the enter. Um, this formula is incomplete, but let us try out something. Let's try out something. Try and autofill it to other students. You can see that if I click on this, you see, it does not include the 61 again. So the rank will not be correct. If you go to the next one also, it will not include the first two numbers. It will not be correct in that way. But what will make it correct is we are going to make the ref an absolute reference. The ref is going to be made an absolute reference. You still remember from our previous tutorial what we just need? Since we've highlighted H2 to H12, we just press F4 to attach the dollar sign to make the ref an absolute reference. We hit the enter. If you now autofill it, then we are going to have the correct position. Because if you go to the second list now and uh, double click it, you can see now that it has maintained from H2 to H12. The same way, if you click on this, it has included the first average and the last average. Even if you click on the last one, it has accommodated the first average up to the last average throughout the formula, throughout the position of each student. And that is how to create rank for position that is in descending order. So I want to make this centralized. That is the class position. Let me name it in that way class position as the position of the students in the class. So you can see now that the first position goes to Gabriel Moses, the second position goes to Andrew Green, and so on. So now, in the place of ref as contained in our formula here, you can create a name range and place it there. Let's create a name range for total and use the total to find the class position and see. 
So we highlight the total from the beginning, right click, and then select define name. And you have a total, just select OK. Now let's just name it anything. Post abbreviation for position using the total. We now said equal to rank, open brackets. Uh, the first number, that is the first total there is G2, comma. Now the ref now, I am just going to type what? Total. If I type total, you see it appears. Total. Can you see the total has appeared? I double click on it and it has highlighted it. So we press comma. We're looking at descending order. Double click descending order and hit. And then you auto fill. You will see that we are going to have the same position because whether you use a total or average for the class position, you are expected to have the same position for the class. And that is it. Now let us edit to um what do you call it to ascending order by selecting one uh, that is it then we auto fill you see that the first person is going to come the 11th which means it has been reversed how do you know that this one is in descending order and this one is in ascending order so what we do is we add 7 plus 5 12 2 plus 10 12 everything you add there now will be giving you 12, 12, 12, 12. So you know that one is in ascending order and the other one is in descending order of the arrangement of their either total scores or average scores. And this is where we are ending this tutorial. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and share this video. Until we come your way again, goodbye.